Hi, my name is Cheryl Wallowick and I'm the owner of MyHR Pro, a human resource consulting firm. Welcome to the fourth video in our recruitment series. Today I'm going to teach you how to conduct an effective interview. Have you started a small business and your workload is increasing beyond what you have the capacity for? Do you need to hire new staff but don't quite know how to interview? Well, in this video I'm going to provide you with seven interviewing tips so that you can conduct an effective interview. Interviewing tip number one is when preparing for an interview, make a list of the things you want to learn about the candidate. Now base this list on the tasks that you require the new employee to do as outlined in your job description. The second interview tip is to make a list of personality traits, skills, and experience the candidate must have in order to be successful in the role. This information should also have been listed on the job description. For personality traits, list things like detail-orientated or works in a conscientious manner. Examples of skills include advanced understanding of computer office programs such as Microsoft Word and Excel. An example of things to list for experience could include experience like they've done things with customer service and they've dealt directly with the public. The third interviewing tip is to make a list of questions you can ask when interviewing to discover if the candidate possesses these skills, experience, and personality traits. Now, you don't have to invent these questions on your own. There's many websites that list possible interview questions you can ask. When interviewing, ensure that there are questions are relevant, precise, and allow the candidate to reveal their skills, experience, and personality traits. The interview question should not just require a yes or no answer, but be open-ended so that you can give the candidate a chance to provide a detailed answer that will give you more insight into their skills, knowledge, experience, or personality traits. Now, the fourth interviewing tip is don't intimidate the candidate. If it is obvious that the interviewee is nervous, put them at ease. They'll likely reveal more about themselves when they are relaxed and not feeling intimidated by the interviewer. When interviewing a candidate, you want them to feel at ease and comfortable talking with you. Remember, they're likely nervous. Do everything you can to make them feel comfortable. The fifth interviewing tip is don't rush the interview. Effective interviewing involves asking well thought out questions that will allow the interviewee to give you the answers you need to make your decision. The sixth tip is to provide an opportunity for the interviewee to demonstrate their skill level by completing a sample task that the position requires them to do. Don't call this a test, rather call it an opportunity to prove their skill. And my last interviewing tip is after your interviews are complete, reflect and compare how each individual answered your questions. You should have a good idea as to which candidate will be most successful in the position. To help you keep track of the candidates and your thoughts on their answers, consider using a rating sheet to record comments and rate answers during the interviewing process. Keeping numeric ratings can help you rank order your top candidates and the others that you've been interviewing. And it helps you have a clear idea regarding who you believe will make the best employee. Oh, and don't forget to do reference checks before extending an offer to your top candidate. I hope you found these seven interviewing tips logical and useful. Please see my other videos on creating a job description and how to check references as this will help you in the initial steps leading up to the interview process.